Bawat araw, kasabay ang nag-aalam na pangako sa ating mga puso na mahal natin at patuloy natin mamahalin ang Pilipinas hanggang tayo ay nabubuhay. Let us show our love for our country by taking care of our families and communities despite the unending challenges that come their way. Today is Father's Day. This is a time for families. But you are here with me. Pagang salamat sa inyong pagtampong o pagkuyong kanako ni Ining Agawa. Yeah. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers who make sure that another person is given the best of everything. Today, our children are facing a very complex future. One that is rife with conflicts and uncertainties. Some of these challenges include the winding cycle of poverty, the trauma of broken families, the lifelong baggage because of irresponsible and bad parenting, the abandonment issues due to an absentee parent, the anguish of gender confusion and discrimination, the destruction brought about by drugs, the lure of easy money in criminality, cases of HIV and other sexually transmitted diseases, the failure to identify pregnancy, the detrimental effects of illiteracy, the emotional injury of bullying, unstable mental wellness, recruitment to support terrorism, misinformation in the internet. The list could be endless. A strong, loving, happy family sets down all the basic foundations essential in the development and growth of a child. At home, parents have the duty to teach children the values of integrity, discipline, respect, and compassion for others. And we should never forget that it is the duty of each Filipino family to emphasize that education begins at home. Ako isisi sa ilang alimpatakan na ang maayong pumatasan, edukasyon, o pagpaningkamot Maoy magdala kanila kalayo sa kinabuhi na puno ng kalisod. Padulong sa maayong kinabuhi na ilang ginahandong. We should not, as we cannot afford, to squander the future of our children. The days ahead may be full of challenges that call for us to be more united as a nation. But let me reiterate this. We can never go wrong if we are a people be dedicated to honoring the will of God, to serving our country and our fellow men, and protecting the integrity of our families and the future of our children. Ako po, 
si Inday Sara. A proud Babawenya. Ngunit, walang makakatalo sa tibay ng puso ko bilang isang Pilipino. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Walang salamat. Yes!
Mrs. Zimmerman to take it family. At this point, the Vice President-elect will be joined by her spouse, Attorney Manses Tartu, and their children, Micaela Maria, Mateo Lucas, and Marco Igor.